Hello and good evening. My name is John and we are playing another adventure as part of my Steam Cleaning series. Clean, Steam Cleaning series where I go through every game in my Steam library eventually. And then arbitra arbitrarily rate and review them. Uh, I don't know what this game is, but there's a phone ringing, so I'm going to push A. No? Nothing? Alright. I'm going to push Enter. No? Click. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. That's my eyeball. Snooze. Alright. Come back later. Tomorrow. He was longing for tomorrow. Whereas everything in him ought to reject it. The revolt of the flesh is abound? Alright, we'll answer it. No, we'll snooze. Alright, I'm gonna snooze some more. A think, create, game. Oh my god, it's 7 o'clock. Get up, buddy. The cold, cold open. Chapter one. Johnny is an ambitious college student. Every night, he sets the alarm to 6 a.m. the following morning. Okay. He thinks he'll get up early the next day, run five kilometers at the park, have a nice breakfast, and then walk into class with style. But... but every day, Johnny has to tap the snooze button a million times. He struggles to get up, but feels like his bed won't let him. Oh, struggle. Oh no, the progress bar keeps getting bigger. Oh jeez, Johnny. Believe it or not, my bed doesn't want me to get up. That's what he always tells his friends. When there are only 15 minutes left before his first class, he finally manages to get up. It's nice outside today, but he has to sit in the classroom. Hearing these unbearably outdated lectures is a real waste of life. Oh, Johnny, come on. Oh, I took a photo. Oh yeah, share that. Yeah. Johnny has a sudden thought, so he writes it on the post. I have a, no, no. I bet, no, my dream doesn't. My alarm doesn't wake me up. My dream does. Oh, share. Johnny, you're so deep. As usual, there's no time left for breakfast. He has to attend class on an empty stomach. Aww. Walking through the crowd, a feeling of absurdity can always strike him in the face. When did the ivory tower become a factory to produce boring company employees? Ain't that the truth? I can't become one of them. If a man has no dream, then what's the difference between him and a fish? But what exactly is his dream? Johnny doesn't know yet. Oh. It doesn't really matter right now, he thinks. I still have four years to figure it out. Get your life together, Johnny. Okay. Can't jump on these buildings, that'd be weird. But this one ledge keeps moving away from me. Can I double jump? Can I move this? No. Ledge. I don't know what you want from me, game. can't go in there we were we were doing so well the other game and now I don't know it 
It's like the ground was pulled out from underneath me. Oh, thank you, game. We're friends again. Do I need all these coins? Ow. Fortunately, he dashes through the building and just manages to make it in as the bell rings. Just in time. Oh, goodness. Shiny. Yes. Landy. Yes. Johnny. Yes. Yes. Wendy. Yes. Finny. Finny? No, Finny. Is Finny here? Damn. Finney was up all night raiding with his guild. Guess he hasn't made it to class Ain't yet. Ain't that the truth, Finney? Should I answer for him? No. Forget it. He should suffer the consequences. Yeah. Johnny is a reasonably responsible student. He doesn't attend class just to pass the roll call. Reasonably responsible. Nothing on the and board. And of teach. course, he doesn't leave his cozy bed just to play with his phone in class. But it's not my fault. My phone vibrated first, Johnny thinks. What? One of... Johnny feels happy that he isn't alone. His dream really does wake him up every morning. Aww, put the phone down, Johnny. He looks up at the blackboard. The teacher is still repeating stuff out of the textbooks from the 80s. Do all of these basic principles really need to be proven step by step? Johnny, you can't move ahead he of life. His professor's you don't loan, lessons learn the basics. Are an insult to his intelligence. What? Every time a new recruit joined Company A, the boss repeatedly and loudly warned them not to open a particular door in the office. One day, one of the recruits disobeyed him and opened it. The veteran of employees laughed at him, waiting to see how he'd be punished. But then the boss declared everyone in the room, from now on, this young man is CEO. That moral of the story is young should take chances. Uh, okay. The young man met an older man, asking him to keep an eye on his bag while he used the bathroom. Although the young man was very curious for what he was inside, he kept on from leaking. Well, I returned, he was overjoyed. It says, It's rare to see honest from a person these days. The gold bar in the bag is yours. The story tells us honest always was false. I was like one of these. Well, I'm gonna like this one. Oh, okay. Well, I like them both. And. Sad. Enter text. This? No? Okay. Johnny doesn't recognize the country. But as a compassionate young man, he feels like he should share the post and add a candle. Aww. Quora. Mm. How do we get stuck? Alright, open. So, to get more than a thousand likes, thanks guys, really flattered. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Do I type anything in here? Johnny leaves an angry comment. You Shouldn't guys don't have any real dreams. Improving ourselves and building towards our future. You guys don't have any real dreams. Oh, little Johnny. Although Johnny hasn't been paying attention to class for a while, he doesn't think catching up is worth it. Oh, Johnny. These lessons have been obsolete for years, Johnny thinks. 
Man, I didn't go to a school with a cell phone. I was too old, but... I've heard uh, that Africa breathing on them shortens their life. For every 20 chicken nuggets you would consume, you actually absorb as many as 20 chicken nuggets. Calories is 20. Okay. Alright. Alright. I don't know what this means. Too many messages. I wonder if this game is trying to send a message to me. I felt I couldn't I couldn't keep up. Couldn't keep up. Too many messages. Another productive day down the drain. Although class today was useless, I managed to learn a lot on Twitter and Quora. Sean thinks. I don't know. I don't know what Quora is. I know what Twitter is. Saturday. John I learned. Is an ambitious college student. Oh, push that boulder up the hill. I've heard no fables about this. Almost. It's really loud. I think we all learned a lesson there. Don't try. Chapter two. Jack is a programmer who dreams of changing the world. Oh, okay, Jack. He has worked for a top tech company for several years. Google. Whenever he spends time as a campus recruiter, he hears youngsters talking about their dreams. Oh, does Jack But when he Jack? looks for a true geek like him, he can't find anyone that fits the bill. That's not how that works, generally. Another perfect morning, Jack thinks. If you want to be a geek, you need to dress like one at first. Oh yeah, hit gub. Perfect. <laughs> Jack often feels pity for people who have to get up early to catch the metro. Since his company follows a flexible schedule, he can go out when fewer people are on the subway. Of course, fewer is a relative term here. The metro is always incredibly crowded. How do I dodge? Do I click on them? Oh, okay. Thanks for the hint, game. It wasn't very clear. <laughs> that one wasn't very clear. Hillcrest Line, Vision Park. It's a lot of people still. Every morning on the Hillcrest Metro Line, the trains are filled with bracing stench of wild programmers. That's a little unfair. But Jack knows he's different from the rest. Is there any other reason to live than to change the world? He has the same thought as Steve Jobs.
But how to change? He's not sure. You know, he's the only one in this area that's okay, wearing any he clothes. He's still young, and time is on his side. His current plan is to gain experience at a big company and gather the strength to change the world in the future. This is definitely a, a weird experience. Jack doesn't like the company he works for very much. Oh, Even Jack. though the company pays for his talent, they can never buy his heart. If I were the boss, I'd just earn money and grow my company without being evil like this. Jack is happy that he chose to become a programmer because as long as he's in ramp. front of a computer he feels like he has the power to change the whole world. Think create studio. Power button still clicks. There are two types of people in the world. Those that understand binary, and those that don't. As a diehard geek, Jack hates to use IDEs like Visual Studio, and Vin? Just a crutch. A beginner's toy. A real expert can create the most brilliant codes with nothing but a plain text editor like Notebook. I, I mm, don't agree. When you come right down to it, <laughs> Jack's job is pretty simple. All he needs to do is type O's and ones in the right order. Oh, use the keyboard, got it. Oh. They actually want me to type it up there. Really? Two. Even if he encounters an unsolvable <laughs> bug, he could just leave a comment and let someone else take care of it. Tell the product manager her responsibilities are impossible. Leave a comment. Leave a comment and let someone else take care of it. Yep. Such a huge company. Jack thinks that most people are totally wasting their time here. Barely anyone here truly loves technology, shares his belief in the potential for progress, or hopes to change the world. With that lonely thought in mind, he keeps typing O's and ones. While eating lunch in the cafeteria, Jack sometimes meets up with Charles. Charles, you say? He's one of the few guys at the company that Jack has anything in common with. The calf food has been awful lately. Totally. The logistics department has lost their minds. Speaking of which, our new product manager is a... <laughs> Dumbass. You can say that again. Her requirements are ridiculous. I wonder why they even recruited her. As far as I'm concerned, everyone in HR is a dumbass. I read in Steve Jobs' biography that the kind of people a company hires is determined by the founder's genes. What? I think. Our bosses... Our boss is also a spectacular dumbass that will drive this company into the ground. Uh-oh. I think 
Our boss can bear those dumbasses for such a long time? No doubt he's a dumbass, too. <laughs> well, what's the other option? I think. Oh. C Sharp is the perfect programming language. We should use C Sharp in our new project. C Sharp is the perfect programming language. We should use C Sharp in our new project. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, between Java and C-Sharp, I'll go with C-Sharp. After lunch, Jack goes back to his desk and returns to his world of O's and ones again. Alright. In the real world, there are too many things we can't control. Like the people who leave you. Aww. Like the dreams you chase while you're Aww. young. But in the binary world, Jack feels like a wise and powerful emperor. No one can control me, and nothing can stop me. You're the man, Jack. From the depths of the sea to the ends of the earth, I go wherever I please. Maybe... This it's is not really like a program. Free as the air, Jack thinks. Come on, a little faster. Come on, beat it, beat it, beat it. Is this gonna go? Just gonna keep going? Sometimes when Jack is tired, he wonders if it's much too early to start working on his dream, but. I'm already doing much better than my workmates that <laughs> just waste their time. At least deep in my heart, I'll never give up the dream to change the world. Jack is a programmer who dreams of changing the world. That rock up that hill. Oh, not again. Well, this has been another adventure. It is uh, super weird, but I kind of like it. It's got a bit of a sense of humor, simplicity graphics, and uh, it's just going to push you through it. It's kind of like a visual novel with some... Um, Interactive beats here or there. Robert. But I won't go too much further because it's story based and I don't want to, you know. Robert is in. We'll leave that as there. Leave that question for the ages. But yeah, this has been another adventure. Uh, super weird. Uh, I like it. The uh, I don't know how long it is, but yeah, check it out. Cheers. <laughs>